you're protesting in We're not protesting. The first church to allow black people to be part of So what? here in Atlanta. The church has reversed its decades-long ban on LGBTQ clergy. Atlanta News First Madeline Montgomery is at St. Mark Methodist Church in Mintow. And some of the church leaders there helped pass today's big decision, Madeline. The senior pastor, who's usually up here at the pulpit, is actually up in Charlotte. She helped to vote on this decision, and congregation members say it's been a long time coming. Songs of celebration that the United Methodist Conference voted to reverse its ban on clergy members coming out. What's happened today really puts the church in line with that radically inclusive love that this congregation has championed for decades now. St. Mark United Methodist has a history of allyship and inclusion, often representing at the Atlanta Pride Parade. There were protesters telling me that I was going to go to hell for the person I was. And on this side of the street in front of St. Mark, there were these women with little cups of water saying all are welcomed here. Although they were inclusive, until today's vote, the United Methodist Church as a denomination had rules restricting gay marriage. My husband and I were married 12 years ago by a clergy person from St. Mark. After our wedding, someone turned him in for doing so. And as a result, he resigned. We as a church can celebrate those most meaningful moments in people's lives by celebrating marriages within the houses of worship that people have grown up participating in. But today's decision comes after turmoil within the United Methodist Church. It was a real big heartbreak in that. It's, it's always sad to see a separation like that happen. Because of disagreements over LGBTQ issues, over 6,000 congregations of just over 30,000 churches in the United States have disaffiliated. Nearly 300 churches left the North Georgia Conference last year. I, in fact, pastored a congregation that did decide to leave. So I know firsthand what that's what that's like, but we have an opportunity now to reach out to those very same people in this new day. To come full circle today for the church to say that I am valid, my marriage is valid, it's a feeling I can't describe. The United Methodist Church is hoping that this decision starts to help fill up these pews again. Reporting in Midtown, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First. We thank the Lord today that we come out in the day to spread the gospel 80. of our Lord and Savior, the one true and the living God, the one that paid the price for that we ever come up with. You may say, well, when they come out there and hate, they got hate in their heart. The love of Christ is what sent us out today. His love for all of mankind. His love, his perfect love that cast out all fear. Why? Because fear has been tormented. The love of Jesus Christ, the Bible says in John 3 and 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that who shall believe within him shall not perish, oh, yeah. but have eternal life. Wasn't it like a pride flag? Or Jesus something? Christ Hallelujah. Now, Want to give you now it's eternal just known. life. It's just known they're gay. Right. That's where you find life at, in him. Outside of him, you don't have life. But in him, you have life. And we came today to give the, the true gospel. The one true and the living God. The one that's able to save to the other. And we live in our time now. And it's time where people said that they are Christians. Everybody proclaiming that they are Christians. That they know who Jesus Christ is. Oh, I know him. But our belief in Jesus Christ has to line up with what his word says in order to be a Christian, in order to be Christ-like. Because we live in our time now where well, so many people are professing, but in these, they are denying him reprobate but jesus christ he's able to save he's able to deliver he's able to make whole he don't do no half work he don't do no half work he does a complete work 
And the Bible says, work while it's day. When nighttime come, can't no man work. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. I got a question for you today. Those that attend this building, do you walk in the fear of God? Don't upon the sound of my voice, do you walk in the fear of God? And what is the fear of God? Honoring him, respecting him for who he say he is. And he's not a hippie. He's not a go along with all of your what you want to do. He's not that kind of God. But in today's time, people are looking for a God that will compromise with their wicked ways. That tells them it's okay the gospel, for the yes. life that they're living. Oh, Jesus Christ, the one that's in that Bible, God, God the one that's able to save, the one. Know you not, so many of us that were baptized in Christ were baptized into his death. Baptized in Christ. Second Corinthians 5 and 17 says, if any man, anybody, be in Christ, he's a new creature, new creation. Are you a new creation today? Are you a new creation? Are you a new creation? Do you know him? That's why David said, created me a clean heart, renew a right spirit. New creature, old things will pass away, but all things become new. Those that know him, old things got to be passed away. Their former lifestyle. Oh, but the daytime, they want you to embrace their lifestyle. We cannot embrace wickedness. We got to embrace righteousness. Embrace the word of God. Oh, but today, time, they want you to embrace their wickedness. The Bible says, let the wicked forsake his way and the righteous his thoughts. The Bible says that God will have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. God will have no pleasure and you die in your wicked state. He'll have no pleasure in it. He'll have your prayer you die and lost. Jesus said he came to seek and to save those that are lost. Oh, there are many people that go to this building. They are lost. Oh, but Jesus Christ, he can find you. Because he's not lost. He's, he's found. He can find you. Bible says, those that are sick, they need a physician. There are many people, they are sick. We're not protesting. So what? They've fallen from grace. So you're saying they've fallen from grace? So how you judge other people is how God Did you know judgment starts at the house of God? Hey, you want to finish that verse, sir? Or do you just want to drive away? Glory to Jesus Christ. Oh, you're just going to drive away. Okay, bye. Thank you, Lord. False teachers. Teaching damnable heresies. Bible said they bring swift destruction upon themselves. Because they teach the damnable heresies. Teach, teach this thing that's against the word of God. Against God's word. Giving people something that's not going to sustain them. Give them something that's watered down. That's what they're giving them. That's what you find here in St. Mark United Methodist Church. A weak and watered down gospel. Got to have the word of God. 
How you guys doing? God's word. How are you doing today? Hello. Right there. Don't what about it? Thank you. Don't need it. Where's your guys' Bibles? Don't need your dirt. You don't need your Bible? You don't need to read the Bible? What dirt? And your hate. What dirt? It's not hate. No, no. It's the truth in love. We gotta warn you. It's truth in love. That's love. You guys, you guys, you guys are. We were here warning y'all. That's hate. That hate is what they're preaching here. That's what you go to seminary. Cemetery? Cemetery. 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 Did Jesus say? Did Jesus say unless you go to cemetery that you can you can know the Bible? Do you know the Bible's on a fifth grade reading level? Why do you need to go to cemetery? You guys are too old to be this delusional. Thank you. Read the Bible. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ.